The automotive sector provides significant value to the UK economy with a turnover of £79 billion and it employs 864,000 people across the entire industry. But by 2030, the sale of new petrol and diesel cars will be banned in the UK with heavy goods vehicles following suit by 2040. Now, this will help us achieve our net zero carbon ambitions by 2050, but it also presents unprecedented challenges and opportunities for UK industry. Battery electric cars are becoming increasingly popular and we're seeing more and more battery electric vans and even buses. So will our entire transport system be powered by batteries as we transition to a net zero future? Uh, batteries are really important and batteries are going to provide a big part of the solution for road transport in the future, but it can't do everything. When we get into those heavy vehicles that have got to do long distances, that have got to be you know, always available, and that's where hydrogen, the potential for hydrogen, and either using fuel cells or hydrogen combustion can really make a big difference because you can get a completely CO2 neutral piece of transport and you can charge it up very quickly and be on your way again. The Advanced Propulsion Centre is forecasting that hydrogen will become a critical part of our net zero carbon transport solution. And that brings with it significant financial opportunities for the United Kingdom, as we have some world leading technology in the field. We, we see in excess of a billion pounds of market accessible to the UK businesses, and, and that's in the next few years. And that's still very much in its infancy. So that billion pounds is just the start. The Advanced Propulsion Centre have done an in-depth analysis of the hydrogen fuel cell supply chain to better understand how the UK can capitalise on the opportunities ahead. So with fuel cells, we mapped out the full fuel cell value chain. This helps us understand what it takes to make a whole fuel cell system. And then we can focus where the strengths are within the UK and any gaps. But in that process, we learned, actually, we've got a fantastic nucleus of strengths in the UK we could leverage into a larger growth plan. By 20, 2035, we could be making 140,000 vehicles with fuel cell powertrain systems on them in the UK, right? That is 14 gigawatts of fuel stack power, and that's 400,000 hydrogen tanks that we could be making in the UK. So that equates to a value add per system of 3,000 pounds per system that we could be earning in the UK. The great news is that the UK today can address about 15% of the value add from those fuel cell and hydrogen systems and tanks and all those bits involved in the hydrogen technology and transport. Really good news is the UK could very well get over 65% of that value add. Lithium-ion battery technology was invented in the UK, but the commercial and development lead is now in Asia, and we're trying to catch up. We need to ensure we now keep our lead in hydrogen technology. Hydrogen is an area where we have technologies, capability, uh, process understanding, so we've got to make sure that we push our advantage now, develop those supply chains, so we're in it from the start and we can take a leadership position. The opportunities presented by hydrogen should not be understated and the time for action is now. There's opportunity everywhere, to be honest, and for those people with good ideas, good technology ideas, the time has never been better. Thank <smart noise> you.